What's happening with interest rates? What are they right now? Are they going up? Are they going down? And how much can you negotiate off your interest rate when you're talking to the bank? Well, make sure you stick around to the end because you are going to learn all of that and also get my latest interest rate predictions. I'm Ed, an economist here at Opus Partners, and this is Property Now. Interest rates fell in both March and April. All major banks have dropped some of their interest rates and no bank has increased their rates recently. Here are some of the big changes. ASB, they've recently dropped their two-year rate, a oh, very small 0.04%, but their five-year rate went down 0.16%. Westpac, they dropped a bit off their two-year rate as well, that's down 0.14%. And if we look at ASB's one-year interest rate, we see some big falls since the end of 2023. Back then, their one-year rate was 7.45%. They dropped it, then they dropped it two more times throughout March, now sitting at 7.24%. When you average it out, the biggest falls have happened on the two-year fixed rate. That's down an average of 0.27%. Also, the three-year rate has seen some pretty big falls. But all interest rates are down a tad over the last three months. Now, these drops are not massive, but it shows you that interest rates are now probably past their peak. And if you want to dig into this detail, you can check out all of these numbers on our website, including how each bank is changing their rates. The links are down in the description. But if we're thinking about getting an interest rate, how much could you potentially negotiate off when you talk to the bank? Right now, you can negotiate your interest rate down quite a bit, actually. Here are some of the actual discounts that my team at Opus Mortgages negotiated for clients over the last week. The biggest discounts are on the one-year rate. So the average bank is advertising 7.25%. That's what you see on the billboards and the TV ads. But when my mortgage brokers are getting in and actually getting down to brass tacks with the banks, our borrowers are walking away with an average of about 6.88%. It's a big discount. After the one year rate, the six month rate is getting a pretty big discount, but there's not as much discounting happening with the two or the three year rates. Now, one thing you do need to know is that some of these discounts are abnormally large. It's because of the market we are in right now. So if you watch this video in a year's time, don't expect to be able to walk into a bank and get a big, 0.37% off your interest rate is because of the time of the market we're in right now. Now you might see some of these big interest rate falls and think, does that mean it's easier for me to get money out of a bank? While the interest rate that you pay is falling, the servicing test rates haven't moved much yet. Now remember, this is the rate that the bank will use to stress test your application when you want to get more lending. So it's called the servicing test rate and it's still sitting at about 9%. ANZ, ASB, BNZ, Westpac, they're all within 0.05% of each other and these haven't really come down much at all. Now as interest rates keep on falling, these will probably move a little bit. That will make it a touch easier to get your mortgage application approved. But I'd say watch this space over the next one to two years. I don't think we're going to see a lot of movement over the next six months. But what if you've already got a mortgage, you're talking to your bank and you need to choose which interest rate to fix for? How long should you fix your mortgage for? If you've already got a mortgage, you're seeing interest rates coming down, you might think, how long should I fix my mortgage for? Well, I'm still really bullish on the short-term rates and I'm not alone. Right now, most borrowers are choosing that shorter term rate, one year or less. So according to Tony Alexander's Mortgage Advisors survey, 90% of mortgage advisors say that borrowers currently prefer one year or less when they're choosing how long to fix their mortgage for. That is a big difference from just six months ago where most mortgage advisors said the two-year rate was more popular. But it's really important to recognize that the shorter one-year rates are not right for everyone. There are some risks. And if you want to learn more about these, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We release new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And if you do already subscribe, you might be thinking, well, where are interest rates going to go? Interest rates are hard. 
really impossible to forecast. So in February, ANZ predicted that the OCR would go up and that mortgage interest rates would fall more quickly. And at that time, they said that by March 2025, they think that the one-year fixed mortgage rate would be 5.7% massive decrease. Now, one month later, they updated their forecast and they're now saying that by March 2025, we actually think it's going to be 6.9%. Now, these forecasts were made only a month apart and yet they're now saying in about a year's time, they think that the one year rate will be 1.2 percentage points higher than they did only a month ago. So predictions change all of the time. Economists often change their tune and that includes me. Now, in terms of my predictions, I reckon that by next year, the one-year rate will be about 6.5%, pretty large discount or drop from what they are currently advertising today. By the time we get to March 2026, I think we'll see some of those larger falls in interest rates as we really get inflation under control. And then I think it'll probably drop back to that longer term average of around 4.5%. That's my standard assumption. So that gives you a bit of a sense of how fast interest rates might fall. And if you want to dig into why I think these specific interest rate falls at these specific times, check out my article about it. It's got all of the detail of those forecasts. Now, the big thing that will impact these predictions is the inflation data, which actually comes out the day that I release this video. Now, the Reserve Bank predicts that when that data is released, a little after we release this video, that CPI inflation will be 3.7%. That's what they're predicting. Now, if inflation comes in at 3.7% or below, that's going to be a good sign for interest rates. And interest rates may fall a little bit more quickly than what I'm predicting here. If inflation comes in above that 3.7%, that's bad. Interest rates could stay a bit higher for longer.